All over the U.S., there is a new drug craze breaking out. A pill prescribed to treat attention deficit hyperactive disorders is being taken by everyone from fifth graders with focus problems to their allegedly overworked mothers. Many people have stepped forward to admit the reasons and frequency they consume Adderall, which yields physical and mental effects similar to cocaine or any other amphetamine. Unlike other pharmaceutical pills, Adderall is abused to increase focus and performance, making daily activities go by faster and easier. So where can you go to witness this Adderall craze in action? For students at the University of Buffalo, it's not farther than the very campus where they attend class. One student, senior political science major Jeremy Ferris, admitted to me that he has abused Adderall to study large amounts of information in a short amount of time, being that he isn't prescribed. He claims Adderall gives him the burst of speed he needs to make up for weeks' worth of lost time. He agreed to let me document him while he's under the influence for an entire night as he studies for his French 104 exam the following morning. Through this experiment, we'll see if Jeremy experiences any adverse side effects. We'll also see if Jeremy permanently retains the information he takes in while cramming. I'll try and answer the question surrounding this wonder drug. Are students abusing Adderall to propel their procrastination? So, what test do you have tomorrow? French 104, yeah. Have you studied? No. No. So, you're going to study tonight? I'm going to study a lot tonight. A lot? For the, probably the entire night, actually, as it, as it turns. Yeah. Do you think you'll uh, be able to get a good grade on the test? I know I can. Why? I'm a great studier. Why are you such a great studier? Well, in this case, I'm going to be, I'm going to be taking some of this prescription strength that are all. And, uh, it's going to town. Yeah. So, uh, are you about ready to start studying? No. So, how long until you think you'll be ready? That all depends on my metabolism right now. So, when you digest the Adderall, is what you're saying? Yeah. I'm gonna know. Have you started studying yet? I can't study without a song or a series of songs. We're gonna make a playlist. At 10:30 a.m., Jeremy is heading to his test. In the meantime, I sat down with his source, who chose to remain anonymous for this video. I've been Adderall for about two years now. Um, do you always take your Adderall every single day? Uh, I take it probably five days a week. I don't really take it on the weekends. I save up some extra so I can sell it. Um, how much do you sell it for? About five bucks a pill I sell it for. Uh, what was the process of getting the prescription like? I just went to my doctor and told her that I thought I had an ADD and she gave me a survey to fill out and basically just got the prescription. It was pretty easy. Do you really think that you have ADD? I do have ADD, definitely. Um, but you're willing to? Yeah, it's not terrible, so I can, I can survive without my medication. Do you think you'll be taking Adderall for the rest of your life? Uh, I think I'll be taking Adderall well into the foreseeable future. I don't know for the rest of my life, but... So, 
You're revealing your test score? Yeah, my teacher just told us it's online, and just check that out real quick. UB learns after you go. All right, 89. How do you feel about that? I mean, I could have done better, but considering I studied for one night and yeah, it went some, you lose some. Do you remember any of the information? No. 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 So, if I were to ask you if you knew anything specific about your test, would you? After our experiment, I spoke to a UB professor of toxicology, Dr. David Dietz. He added some insight to what Adderall does and why it can be dangerous when abused. You don't have attention deficit disorder, even if you do. Uh, one of the side effects of psychostimulants at low doses, not chronically abused, is that it helps you focus and pay attention. Um, right. right. So I think this is probably why the person that you're speaking of thing to consider is as you take more and more psychostimulants, psychostimulants have a component, that's what this is, psychostimulants, cocaine, these things. Yeah. There's something called psychostimulants induced uh, psychosis, psychosis yeah. which is totally indistinguishable from schizophrenia. It is not schizophrenia, but people do and say dumb things. And if you walked into the emergency room, they could not tell the difference until the drug leaves Warm the body. Off, yeah. yeah. So... That's not a good thing. You probably don't want. Even though Jeremy got a B on his test, he told me he won't be taking Adderall again post-college. He said he considers it a miracle drug that allows people to make up for being terrible students all semester long. On the other hand, he does worry both about the short and long-term side effects the pill may have on his body and mind. Only time will tell if and how Adderall affects him in the future and only time will tell how much deeper America will fall into this drug craze. Whether you feel you need a prescription, want to abuse it, or want nothing to do with it, it's important to be aware of what it is and what it does. Everyone should be truly educated on this crazy cocaine-in-a-pill burst of productivity that is Adderall.